I don't understand this. Use payday with your epic games. They're so loud. Well, now it works, okay. It might have doesn't. Why won't this work? So you can see a cheap and sad. That's interesting. It gives you XP. Uh, press any key. This is already a nightmare. Hello everyone, and welcome to a bit of a different video, starting from scratch in Payday 2. So, because uh, Payday 2 is free on the Epic Games Store for like a week or something, so by the time this video comes out, most likely it's not free anymore, but you know, there's definitely going to be a lot more new players in this game, so I've decided to actually join them on the Epic Games Store uh, Payday 2 version, or whatever this is, what do you want to call it, and um... Just show show everyone or give people tips and tricks on how to actually play the game. I feel like I should do that. <laughs> I played earlier on the Steam version and I I think I played for like an hour and I didn't see anyone that was above level 20. So I'm like, yeah, I think I should. <laughs> so when you get into the game and go through the things I just did in the intro, you would come to this this uh, main menu. So I would recommend the first thing you do is go career mode, which you can see it's glowing. So person in the background is named Bane. This is basically just the tutorial, more or less. It doesn't show you too much, I'm gonna be honest. It shows you the basics, very basics of it, because it is called the basics. So I would recommend going through this. And then here is your inventory. Primary weapons are here, secondary weapons are here, masks and your character your character and masks doesn't like doesn't affect gameplay as much it's just for looks um obviously there's a lot of things that's behind dlc and like community stuff i don't know what this is masks obviously are here there's a ton of different masks i believe th i don't know how many masks there is but there's definitely like 300 plus what the heck why do i why do i have these unlocked these are from like a secret in the game also i've got these ones here too why are these here <laughs> that's interesting i don't think i've seen these masks before these are the pay to the heist masks why are these here for that's interesting honestly I, okay right here is your armor right now we have a two-piece suit nothing else is unlocked because you need to be level one to do that one level seven level twelve level 21 and level 31 obviously the more armor you have the more bullets you can take but the slower you get so you have to find that balance between um if you want speed or tankiness right down here is your deployable so you have ammo bags body bags are meant for stealth only same with ecms but you can use this in that because there's skill which we'll get to that can give you like feedback which will disable every enemy on the map. I'm pretty sure it's infinite range. Don't quote me on that. First aid kits will only regenerate your HP and not downs. If you want your downs to be regenerated, I would go for a doctor bag. Sentry guns, self-explanatory. It's a sentry gun that kills enemies automatically, but you do need to like refill it with ammo every now and again and whatever else. So I wouldn't really recommend it because need to babysit them to melees, which is down here. There's heaps of them, but most of them are basically the same, just re retextured. Right here is throwables. Right now I have nothing <laughs> because you need to be level one to unlock this stuff. So you have to go through the campaign, not campaign, the, the tutorial to do that. Right down here is infamy. Every single time you reach level 100, you can go infamy which is basically a prestige in like call of duty or something like that and there is right now there's over i think there's over 300 or 500 levels but there's only prizes up to 100. i guess overkill will get to it eventually um get to the rest of the things but right now 100 is the max when it comes to prizes but you can go further than that right here crew management is the AI in the game or the bots. I would actually recommend to go here first because you can give your crew boosts right here. And I see that we we come in here with 12 coins. So the way to get these is continental coins. And the way to get those is to do safe house raid, which is a mission I'll get to in a second, or 
a game mode called Crime Spree. But I guess we spawn in here with, or we start, I'd say, with 12 Continental Coins. So I would actually recommend to get, um, where is it? I think it was in here. Yeah, this one here. I would recommend getting Quick. You can have that unlocked. Basically, you can interact with things 25% faster. And then, in right here, you have Inspire. But you shouldn't need that, honestly. I would probably recommend, um, let's go for this one. The reload speed and swap speed 50% faster. And then let's go for, I wouldn't really recommend dodge, I'll be honest. Because dodge is a mechanic in the game. Basically, it's a percent chance of not getting hit by bullets um, and it's pretty it can be good but other times it's not because like I said it's just a percent chance not getting hit so I think there's a perk deck which we'll get to in a second in the game called rogue that gives you 50% dodge which makes it a 50% chance of not getting hit basically but the thing about that because it's a 50% chance logically it could mean like if you get hit once the next bullet won't hit you. But in this game, it doesn't work like that. So you could get hit like five times in a row before you dodge one bullet. That's why I'm not really a fan of it. It's just chance. And yeah, so I would probably recommend going armor. And then on this one, let's go for HP. And that's all the coins. So um, so perk deck is next, is right here. And like I said, there is a lot of different perk decks here. Um, I would recommend probably armor, armor or muscle to start off with. Probably muscle actually, because you get a lot of HP basically immediately. You get 10% HP right there. But if you want to go for a tank, I'll recommend armor. Uh, perk decks are basically, like I said, it's perks that are just bunched up into a little deck. There's a bunch of different ones. Crew Chief basically means you get extra armor and HP from keeping hostages tied down. Muscle is just a ton of HP. Armor is the opposite. Ton of armor. Rogue is the thing I was talking about before is all about dodge. Hitman is about Kimbo, akimbo weapons and I think armor regeneration as well. Crook is basically rogue and armor together. So you get a lot of armor and dodge with it. And then burglar and all that stuff is actually un is actually locked behind DLC. So but burglar is a stealth build as well or stealth perk deck grinder is probably one of the best perk decks in the game especially back in the day it was broken as anything but basically the more damage you do the more health regeneration you get maniac is actually one of my favorite ones which i'll probably actually recommend to use first honestly basically the more damage you do the more damage regen or well not damage regen damage resistance you have there's a bunch of other perk decks but i won't get around i won't get around to doing it because it's a lot so i would recommend maniac for the first pack deck and the biggest one your skills there's a lot in this game so yeah <laughs> so we have mastermind enforcer technician ghost and fugitive the, every single tree has its own set of perks i i'm not going to go through them all because like i said there's a, a lot here so yeah um i think i would start with an armor build and that means is i'm going to be focusing my stats and white stuff around armor so i would go for enforcer because that's the armor tree you can see right here this is all about armor so i just went very quickly through all that stuff i didn't really read too much but yeah so let's get started with the with this so i actually haven't played the tutorial for so long so not much here this is just your loadout right now it's all locked because you don't have anything unlocked this is soundtracks the soundtrack in this game is banging so i would recommend actually go random track because there's a lot of good songs in this game but here you can hold enter to skip that go a bit faster my sensitivity is broken <laughs> I need to fix this. So in your settings as well, it says user interface. I would recommend having throwable outline right here and then ammo outline as well. So you can see uh, your ammo on the, on the ground, like the outline of the ammo. And then the same thing with throwable. I would also recommend go down to here, adjustable FOV or whatever, and just bring that out. It's not the best FOV. To get the better one, you need mods, um, but this is good enough. There's some money right there. You can pick up pick up that money. Not right now because you're in uh, casing mode. Casing mode means enemies can still see you like this. Right now in casing mode, you can be seen by enemies like that and cameras as well. So I recommend go back over here. 
do this. Oh god. Okay, I didn't I wasn't expecting that. You can knock him out like that. You can press E to melee. Hold F to bag up the body so you can move him. Press G to throw bags anywhere you want. You can see the outline of the ammo as well, that's why I recommend it, because you can see it through walls. This is more my style. Okay. Let's shoot him in the head and get this. Seven guys. Press F on this money to pick it up. Oh, there's a jump. Nice. That notification sound is very loud. Oh, draw draw was jammed. Let's run over here and repair it by holding F on it. Snipers are very deadly because they have armor piercing bullets. So they can really destroy your HP and armor really quickly. This is now open. Hold F on that, pick it up. Now with with coke, you can actually run with it. Unlike other uh, bags, could be a bit heavier. Like money is heavier, so you can't run with it. Don't shoot these uh, civilians right here. Just tie them down. If you shoot them, you lose money. Throw them in there and go into this area, and you're good. Oh no. You could shoot that open, but I guess not right now. These guys die. When they're down like this, either the bot will revive him, or you can by holding F at him. I would honestly recommend just let the bot do it because they have way more HP than you do. Shout at the civilian to get down, tie the down like that. Move the hostage. Good, good. Trade this civilian to get our man back. All right. He just pops into existence because you know why not. Where? That shield will save your ass. Where's the shield? Oh, I honestly didn't even notice. I'm here and get my ammo. Plus. These people are not really much of a threat, because it's on easy mode, so... It's here. Chuck the bag in. And go into here. Done. Doubting us. But just get us a heist with good cash, and we'll forget about this. Okay. You can see right here it says hold space to speed this up, so... Just do that right there. You can see up over here, I have unlocked a lot of new things, including new armor. That is so loud. <laughs> oh, I got, actually got lucky. I got $20,000 from that. This is the menu for the cards. Every single heist you finish, you can get a card and you get a random item from the game. Um, including money and XP and like weapon attachments, masks, patterns for masks. Uh, yeah, I got lucky with, with that. <laughs> 20,000. 20,000 is not much, but when you're level 7, it is quite a bit. So what can I get? I can get myself an AK, which is actually pretty good. I can get a Kimbo weapons, which I wouldn't really recommend, I'll be honest. I will. What's my secondary looking like? Which is pretty good. It's a pretty a lot of damage, but low ammo. I think I would recommend to get the AK first. Get that. That is freaking loud. I'm pretty sure there's an option to get rid of that. So I think if you do this right here, you can scroll through this like this if you want to, but it'd be easy to, to click on it. Go to the highest difficulty, death sentence, excuse me. And I think if you go offline, yeah, now everything that comes up is now death sentence difficulty. I would recommend, if you want to do this, I would recommend do stealth in on death sentence because you get way more XP. So yeah. Can I use a suppress? Oh, we do have a suppressor right here. Okay, that's good. I'll use that. 
I thought I'd turn that off. Yeah, I'll go back to this weapon because in stealth, you need to worry about your concealment or detection risk, which is down here. The lower the number, the better. So I wouldn't use the AK because it has 26. I would recommend using that. That's 17, which is lower. So let me get my spoon. Nah, I'm not going to use that because it's concealment. Because we were doing stealth, ghost is the stealth tree. So yeah, number one thing I would say, I would 100% recommend getting duck and cover basic which is just one point. Basic is one point. Ace is the next step up like that. So basic is that. And then parkour basic as well. And if you have the skill points, I would recommend inner pockets because that will lower your concealment even more. And then right here, I would recommend hardware expert in the technician tree, which if you make this basic, it will silence the drills that you have or thermal drills or whatever. It'll make them quiet so less chance of enemies spotting you and then why not put one point into steady grip because extra extra accuracy is always good so now we have 14 concealment which is all good let me just wait for it oh, there's a drill list all there that's good that's a good start so with, with stealth i would actually recommend to be patient because you can't exactly just run in well you can but i wouldn't recommend running in and yeah oh, okay that, that's blocked off that's nice I think you can, I think this is fine. I think you can jump over it. Let's break bad. Well, the thing's in the way. There's a guard there. Press F on the guard to point them out. You can still see me through this. Come on game, are you gonna move or not? This is the bad thing about stealth that I don't like is you have to be patient, like I said. Um, And this is the reason why. Because you can't like drill a hole through this gate for some reason, even though the mechanic is there in the game with other heists you can't do it here for some reason i wonder if i can get around there's a civilian there i need to be careful of so i need to tie this person down you can there we go you can jump up here jump over there we go Sometimes I just see things, not not to alarm you. So the pager, move the body over there. Now get this one. What is a guard of, over there? Okay, we're fine. Everything's a okay. Over. There might be four guards on this map. So with stealth, um, when you, once you kill a guard, you have to answer the pager. You have like 10 seconds or 15 seconds or something like that to answer it or else the alarm will sound off and then it'll go loud. Uh, you only have four pages, so I just use two. So I only have two more. There might be four guards here. Oh, hello. Hit the display cases. Just Put your hands do up. that. The thing about the game as well is if they don't have a line of sight to your head then they can't see you so that's another thing so that's why i was able to hide right here because this part right here was in the way to him seeing me there is civilians over there so let me just let me just get these civilians down i only have one cable tie okay i have to keep my eye on them i guess right here melee these to get money Oh, hello. Are you serious? What are you what are you doing there? Okay, well I have to keep my eye on you now. In the future, once you have a ton of money, um most people would just kill the civilians. So yeah, I would actually probably I should have got extra cable ties, honestly. I should have got that. So the only thing that civilians the bad thing of killing them or whatever is you get uh charged for like cleaning costs or something and depending on the uh difficulty um it's the price will go up i just no down and stay down i saw that little mark move so right here is a titan save see right here suck it <laughs> titan saves can only be drilled but other saves can be blown up by c4 or shaped charges. I'm actually tempted to shoot him honestly because it's on 
This is death sentence, never mind. I think death sentence you get like, it's like 80,000 or something per civilian you kill. I'm still tempted to shoot him because it'd be so much easier to deal with these two and then leave him. And I'm on 324,000 instant cash you can see on the bottom. So, and there should be two bags in here and then some loose cash as well. Take that, throw it on the ground, take that, throw it here. Now, let's get to the front. This is going to be the fun part. So there's most likely a lot of civilians back here. Yeah, there is. We have no cable ties, so we have to keep them down constantly while moving bags to the van. So, yeah. I think as well there's a metal detector, so we'll find out. Oh no. Down on the ground. Just got Don't that. Move. Fine. Get down, people. And and okay, there's put. no metal detector. Get down, all of you, and stay put. Everybody, stay down. Stay where you are. Okay. Stay down, everybody. Just managed to get that. I'd recommend getting all the loose cash first before stay moving down. bags. Stay down. All this over here as well. Go back here. Before I go out and deliver some bags, I'll get them down in a bit more. And now, I guess be careful of civilians that walk past, but just put bags in there, it been good. I recommend getting the safe first open. There's a civilian there. It's fine, they're blind, so I would recommend getting the safe open first because that takes like three minutes or something like that. I don't know how long exactly. And we need those bags in the safe for this to work. Go back over here real quick. Nope. I have to do it. Again, we did make sacrifices, so. It's weird how sometimes they get up they get up slowly sometimes. And then other times they get up instantly and start calling. So you need to be ready. <laughs> okay. I think that's everything. Let's get out of here. Hey! Get down! And stay there! Hey, no! Down. You get down. Okay. okay that's, all we need. that's all. Nice. Okay, okay, oh no. Okay. That's gonna happen a lot now. Oh, it's so loud. So from that one highest, we are now 20. 21, 22, 23, 23. Next level XP is 800. We have 20 skill points to play around with now. Like I said, be patient, but that, that's just the best way to do it. There's obviously better heists uh, to do stealth on. Nice pattern. Um, but Drill Store is like the classic one. Um, I think I would actually recommend to make a profile. Can I make two builds? I don't think I can actually because of this. Yeah, level 50 you get to get that okay that's fine so let's play a bit of loud shall we so i'm going to get rid of these stealth things i'll we'll keep that um i would recommend probably second wind acing this acing that the more heists you've done the more like perk points you have so i would recommend you come back here and unlock these gradually you can see how much points you need down here the first one is 200 300 i'm assuming 400 and then, yeah. So now we have this to start off with, which is good. Is there a mask we can use? I'm surprised that these things are here. I don't know why they are here. I'm pretty sure they're only unlocked by completing the secret, but I guess not. Well, we'll be using them because these are infamy items. You can see right here, it says that. So you get a small bonus, like a small XP bonus at the end of every heist. So we'll be using this. Uh, this right here is customize your masks. You can Put patterns, materials, first color, second colors, and whatever else. And there you go. <laughs> Looks horrible. There you go. I'll use that. Now, you can press F to open up this menu as well, real quick. Let's go online, shall we? Um, what can we do? No mercy here. Let's do that. Oh, and I actually completely forgot about the, with the tutorial, there is a loud, which we did, and then a stealth one, which we didn't do yet. Because I just forgot about it. It's funny how this guy's readied up, but his name is still like grayed out, so he's not loaded in yet. And also you can see right here, 
the host's here, John Wick, but then he's not here. <laughs> What? I swear I selected. I don't know why you two are doing this for. It's not stealthable. I swear I clicked on a bank heist gold. But now we're doing aftershock. You have aftershock. You have to find these uh, vans right here. And then the host is the one that has the saw, no one else for some reason. And then you have to put the saw here, I can upgrade it, so I'll do that. These people here were actually teammates, so um, you can kill them if you want, because nothing happens. But yeah, they're teammates. This is done, so I'll pick, I'll pick the safe up. I'll pick the, the saw up, and there is saves in here. It says don't drop them, but it doesn't make a difference. So the first, when you find the first truck, the second truck is pretty close by. I'll leave the leave them to do that. But I'll I'll move this safe over here because we have to we have to put them over here eventually anyway. Fun fact: you can do this. You can take the safe from the <laughs> from the outside. Also, that is a bit glitchy. Should I put my ammo here? Nah, it'll be fine. The ammo looks fine on them, so... Gee. Here you go. It tells you on the screen, but... It's it's also nice just to tell them, because... I was like that too. <laughs> I was like that, like that too, years ago. I think that's now the second time I've actually told someone how to drop, like, bags. Ever since this new update, that's the, now the second time I've told someone how to drop things. One of them is in this, obviously, just then. And another one was, um, in... I'm not really sure what video it's gonna be, because I'm still getting, getting clips for the video. But it's most likely about this update. Like, I did the summer sale video. That is... I just went out today, when I'm recording this, to my, uh, YouTube members. So, speaking of that, I would really really appreciate it if I have more members because I really appreciate every single one right now I only I only have two but again I really appreciate them you get early access to videos um, up to a day before anyone else and there is other things such as emotes um, you get symbols on your name in my comments section and maybe in the future when i stream on youtube you'll have access to that as well maybe i'll be doing like behind the scenes stuff which is gonna be a new thing i'm still trying to figure out how it's gonna work but right now i don't have it but in the future it might be there so i'm still trying to figure out how i'm gonna make it work i would really appreciate it i have lowered the price like two years ago i think it was like six dollars now it's like two or something and also if you're a part of my discord server you would get a roll in there too so anyway <laughs> so the last few weeks has been really hectic when it comes to videos because uh, like i released paid the heist gameplay two weeks ago or a few days i don't know i can't remember now i think it's a few days ago and then just today i uploaded the summer sale video which i was actually hoping that i would have more time on that <laughs> Usually the summer sale stuff lasts like a week, but this time it lasted like two days or three days, which kind of sucked. But and now we have this new update, which changed everything. <laughs> so I had to just use the footage I had and just deal with it, make that a video, and I, I think I managed to do it. And now I'm going to be making another video about this cross-platform matchmaking thing, whatever it's way called. So yeah, and now this video as well teaching people how to play the game from scratch and stuff like that he's gonna go out i don't know when and then i have other videos like mythbusters is coming back um i have bingo on the works i have other things like that on the works as well so i do have a lot of things on my list it's just making them is a problem because it takes a long time If you're driving this vehicle, uh, holding shift will make you look backwards. And I would recommend 
Moving backwards right here because it's easier to put these in. Put the safe in the van. Always, always good idea to be friendly. Come on, we can do it. It's actually funny how his name is way too easy. <laughs> we can't continue until he does it. Oh god. How do I kick him? Oh man. Come on, we can do it. Press G. Come on, press G. Oh. Okay. Why is it there? <laughs> Why is the flay there? Well, I feel bad for him because that's his very first game and he got kicked because <laughs> he was level zero. So that was that was his very first game. When there's a flashbang around, try your best to shoot it. If you can't shoot it, then I would recommend looking away because you'll still get flashed, obviously, but not as much. Can you stop it, you stupid shield? Honestly, I don't even know if that works, but it feels like it does, so. I could test that actually. That's a good idea. That will be the Mythbusters episode. <laughs> oh, he instantly got kicked. Okay, so that was a cheater. If someone joins and then gets kicked immediately like that, the, there's an anti-cheat thing sometimes. I think the host can either disable that or enable it. So I'm pretty sure by default it's on. Another level zero. Nice. I right, a little tip right here as well. You can shoot shields by doing this. <laughs> so we know you can move this thing around. Get on, mate. What? I can't get back in. Oh, you need to repair it. That's a bit weird. Okay, he's in. Kill two or not though, but he's in. Get in, where are you? Come on, come on, get in. There you are, you're in. Now, now you're out? Get in! <laughs> Thank you. Now we need to wait for the host. That was exactly 20 minutes. What are the odds of that? This is the fun part about playing with new players. Um, they don't know that you can you can hold space to go through faster. So you, you just have to sit here until they finally figure it out. Ooh, 80k. Nice. I'm going to see if I can get myself body expertise. I'm one point off. I'll get rid of that. I'll get body expertise. Body expertise basically means, or with basic, is 30% of your headshot damage goes straight to the body. So basically, you do 30% of the headshot damage if you shoot the body of the enemy and then if it's aced it's 90% so basically body shots do more damage so it's very good for SMGs and LMGs and all that stuff speaking of Osho, um, you can do this you can buy cards um, if you want something specific like weapon mod mask blah blah, blah it'll cost you it'll cost you about a million offshore but if you want just anything uh, yeah it'll cost you 500,000 I don't really know what offshore money does, I'll be honest, because on Steam, I have so much of it that, yeah, I just don't know what to do with it. I guess buying heists is something, buying this stuff here, but that's about it, really. Got myself another one of these, so I'm just going to equip that. Extra damage, 100% stability. Thank you very much. All right, I think I'll end the video here. I think it's been two hours. <laughs> I've been recording for two hours, so I think that was pretty successful. Um, if anyone wants me to do this again, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll make this a series, I guess, starting from scratch. I know the, the new players, it's going to be a bit annoying, honestly, but I am here um, welcoming, welcoming all the new players with open arms. So yeah, <laughs> because this game definitely deserves more players playing it because it is a very good game and there is a lot 
to it. It can be it can be overwhelming at first, but once you get used to it, uh, it's it's pretty easy to understand. So yeah, like I said, if you want me to do this again, let me know in the comments, and I'll get around to doing another one of these. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.